All right, so kind of a quick question here about determining the number of petals in the graph of r equals 3 cosine of 6 theta. And if you were to graph this, you would see it ends up looking kind of like a little flower. So uh, kind of a very little useful result here. Um, when you have something, uh, you know, you could have some kind of cosine of n times theta. And the same thing, you could have the, the 3 out front won't affect the number of petals. Likewise, you could have r equals sine of n theta. If n is odd, then n is the number of petals. Okay, so we'll revisit that idea. If n is even, like we have in this case, our n value is just 6, it says then 2 times n is going to be the number of petals. Well, in this case, our n value is just 6, so in our problem, we would have 2 times 6, or 12 petals total. Okay, so the same thing. If we had had cosine of 10 theta, since it, 10 is even, we would have 20 petals. If our problem had been, say, r equals 3 cosine of, I don't know, 13 theta, well, 13 is odd. In this case, uh, if we had, say, 13 theta, uh, we would have 13 petals total. So that's all you have to do. Just look at the, the number in front of theta. If it's even, you double it. If it's odd, you leave it alone, and that will tell you the number of petals. But again, in our example, since we had 6 theta, we would end up getting 12 petals total when we graph it.